Good afternoon and welcome to Applied Communications. Now, this is a high school course that teaches real life skills, everything from balancing a checkbook to getting a job, finding yourself in a job interview, how to present yourself in such a situation, and just how to live your life from a business standpoint. Now, my name is Alexander Winsenson. Looks like I'll be running you through a quick tutorial. Uh, you can call me Mr. Winsenson or you can call me Mr. W. Now, not W as in George W. Bush, but Mr. W will suffice for those of you who aren't daring enough to try and pronounce my last name. It makes sense. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the Smart Board. The Smart Board is an invention by Smart Tech Industries that allows educators and those presenting their information, and instead of using a PowerPoint, they get to use the board itself. Um, it's completely digital. It's definitely part of the 21st century technology. You can hook it up to a computer. You can hook it up to a laptop. However you feel will work best for you. It's completely interactive. It's touch sensitive. So I'm looking forward to running through a quick overview slash tutorial on it. Let's get started. Well, now it looks like we're going to begin this tutorial with orienting the board. Now, orienting the board makes it so that you can touch the screen and it's more accurate. So what you're going to have to do, there's two buttons right here. And what you're going to do is press them both at the same time. It brings up the orientation screen. You'll notice this right here. Well, hopefully you can. You want to press it right in the middle on each one. It's going to move it downwards as I go. Now, like I said, this will keep the board a little more accurate throughout the presentation so that you can press a button and you're not three inches off of where you need to be. Well, as you can see, I brought you a little bit closer to the screen. I noticed you were a little far away, so come on in. We're good. We're all right here. Now, now we're going to discuss, after reorienting the board, the, the tools in our little arsenal to use with the smart board. Now, we've got pens, we have erasers, pretty straightforward, just like an old whiteboard, blackboard, however you mean. We also have images we can use, we can bring screenshots up, we can zoom in on images, all done with the pen tools and the eraser, oddly enough. Now, for a start, I'm going to show you a little bit of the interesting things you can do here. Smart board. As you can see, my handwriting isn't so fantastic. But one of the amazing things granted to us by this awesome tool is that you can recognize all, and then brings it up as a font. Now you can adjust these fonts by changing the size of the image itself. Now these are two separate images. If I really wanted to, I could highlight them both, group them. Now they're one item, which is always entertaining. Makes it a little easier. Start up a presentation right there. This is the smart board. Now to really get this started, I'm going to have to show you, actually introduce you to the pens, not simply the board, and start playing with it. Now you have four different colored pens right here. You have blue, green, red, and black. Now during the duration of this, presentation, I'll be using black because it's my favorite. However, I might decide to throw in some green, red, or blue, just for propriety's sake. Now, as you see, there are the four separate images. You will also get an eraser. Yeah. Just another eraser, right? Well, with this eraser, you can change the size of what you're going to erase. You go a little guy, maybe, maybe erase it a little bit bigger, or just swipe the whole thing, right? There's an even more efficient way to get rid of everything else, so you don't have to Go like this for a minute and a half trying to figure out what you're doing. It buys time, but who wants to do that? You make a circle around all the images and just round all the images and hit in the middle and takes them all off the screen. You don't have to worry about much of anything. It's just gone and you can move on and continue drawing. Now, what's really going to be interesting to me is I am holding the red pen right now. Now, all four of these are color-coded, programmed into the screen. 
I mean, if I pick up the black one, it was the last one to be picked up. This is black. Since the black one was the last one to be picked up, I was still holding on to the red. The red is also going to write in black. So that's always useful to know before you start picking them up and drawing everywhere to see what happened. I'm going to turn them both to their spots. That looked red again. Now I have this strange obsession with stick figures. I think they're the most fascinating, most useful little guys you can draw and tell a story with. Now, I'm a little too lazy to draw a bunch of stick figures now. So instead, I'm going to draw one of these guys. Look at that. just look like a happy glow. Now he's, he has one group right now. Every line here is one item. Well, what I can do with this, other than, you know, Resize him, make him a little guy, champion. I can clone him. Now this instantly just gives me one other clone to work with. However, if I'm really feeling courageous, I could go down to the infinite cloner. Now this gentleman is going to infinitely clone. Grab him, just kind of take one out. There's another one. 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 I'm sure you get the picture. Now that I have this little army of little stick figures, I will turn his infinite cloning off. I will group them all together. And now all these separate individuals are now one group. I can move them as I would like to. I can resize all of them to be a little, little village of people. Or they take the whole screen. Easily tell a history story with that, right? Now, another interesting feature given by the smart boy technician is the ability to bring up maps now and other interactive images. Now, we could sit here and use the whiteboard all day, have a good time with it, play around, draw some stick figures, talk about it a little bit. However, that wouldn't be very educational. Well, the smart board has a whole gallery of images, clip art, art, people, pictures, anything you need to tell a good story or, in my case, history, history lesson. Now, I'm looking at the gallery essentials right now. I'm going I'm to extend this out a little bit, and then I'm going to go down to history. Then I'm going to work my way down to world. Then I'm going to look at empires. Now, empires. I now have all these maps that I can pull up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up a labeled map of the Roman Empire. That's kind of small right there, however, with everything else on my book. I'm gonna extend it out. Now there's a map for the whole class to see. However, from sitting over at the back, they might not be able to see that this is Rome because maybe these are sixth graders who aren't really sure about their European geography. Well, what I'm gonna do in that case. I'm going to go all the way back here, beginning of all of it. I'm going to lock this image in place. Now, then I'm going to use what's called the magic pen. Magic pen is a tool that allows us to do some magic, essentially. Now, these children in the back are having trouble seeing Rome, which is right here in Italy. So I'm going to make a square around Rome, and then the magic pen brings up a zoomed in image for me. So I can then look at it. So there's Rome. Close that up. Puts it back in place so you can continue with your lesson. Now another interesting feature is back to the magic pen. I draw a circle around Rome. You'll notice that it dims out the rest of the map and brings focus on this point. Now with that, I can now extend this a little bit. I'm going to bring it here. It's a wee bit bigger so you can see more of Italy. All of Italy. Now I can carry it when I'm discussing uh, the Romans' conquest to conquer Britain. Well, then I can show a little Let's start crossing the River Rhine over here. Come up. 
They were over in France, worked their way up to England. They only got about this far. Because <laughs> the Scottish were very good warriors. So then I can bring it back down here, back to Rome, and look at Constantinople over here, the Black Sea, Russia. I actually assume known as Russia. I can close this off right here. Now the magic pen allows us to do things like that. You can also add colors, shapes. You can pretty much do whatever you'd like in this case with this map and other images. <laughs> Though brief it was, it has been a pleasure working with you. I showed you about the extent of my knowledge of the smart board. There's plenty more you can do. Um, you just would like to probably sit in the class for an hour and a half and really play with it. There's 3D images, there's interactive images you can use. I didn't get around to showing them to you today, perhaps next time. However, meet the smart board. All right, you have a good day. It was a pleasure working with you. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, good luck.